Since yesterday afternoon, we have fully mobilized our resources to protect New Yorkers from any related threats that might emerge. The NYPD quickly stepped up security at strategic locations and critical infrastructure, including our subways, yesterday as soon as we heard about the attacks. And we'll leave those measures in place until we learn more about what actually happened in Boston. The NYPD is working with its state and federal law enforcement partners, especially the FBI, and it has helped deter and thwart numerous terrorist attacks in our city in the past. But we must remain vigilant for the future, and we are vigilant. The fact is, there remain people who want to attack us. And the moment that we let our guard down, the moment we get complacent, the moment we allow special interests to shape our security strategies is the moment that the terrorists are waiting for. As a country, we, not may, be, we may not be able to thwart every attack. We saw that yesterday. But we must continue to do everything we possibly can to try. Our city government will continue to do that. And I'd ask all New Yorkers to be vigilant as well. Keep your eyes and ears open. If you see something suspicious, like an unattended package, report it to the police. And make sure that you receive news about and alerts related to any emergency situation, as well as non-emergency situations like interruption to city services, by signing up for Notify NYC, which sends free alerts via text, email, or phone calls. You can sign up for Notify NYC by calling 311 or visiting nyc.gov. Uh, there are no specific threats against uh, New York City, but in the aftermath of the horrific day that Boston experienced, we prepared as if yesterday was a prelude to an attack here in New York, and that indeed has been our SOP, our standard operating procedures since 9-11. Uh, we reevaluate our uh, deployments. We added resources where we thought they were necessary. We've been doing that since the attacks in London and in Madrid. We use both our intelligence analysis capability and just uh, uh, common sense. Uh, yesterday, we redeployed our critical uh, uh, resources, our, our CRVs, as we call them, uh, to hotels for the most part. Uh, we also uh, patrolled the houses of worship. We'll continue to do that. And significant uh, infrastructure locations in the city, uh, iconic potential uh, targets, Rockefeller Center, Empire State Building, locations such as that. As the mayor mentioned, we have increased our coverage in the subways. We have the second largest transit system in the world, 5 million people a day uh, travel that system. We're doing bag searches in the, in the system, and we uh, have increased that uh, somewhat. We ask the public to be vigilant, particularly as far as packages are concerned. And in doing that, and after yesterday's events, we anticipated that there would be an increase in reports of suspicious packages, and indeed there was. We've had in the last 24-hour period 77 such reports. A 24-hour period similar to this uh, a year ago, we had 21 suspicious packages. So we prepared for that. We increased our uh, emergency service officers on patrol, and we increased our bomb squad resources. In fact, the bomb squad responded to two jobs, two events yesterday. Neither of them were crank calls. The public was doing what we asked them to do. If you see something suspicious, uh, give us a call. See something say something, and that's precisely what we wanted. Uh, we are certainly engaged in uh, the information flow with the FBI through our Joint Terrorism Task Force. We have two New York City police officers, police sergeants, who are in the Boston Regional uh, Intelligence Center. They're up there. They've been up there since uh, last evening. We have an excellent working relationship with the, the Boston Police Department. They are members of our Operation uh, Century. We are going to maintain the posture that we have now for, at least for the um, immediate uh, short term. Uh, there are two major events or runs uh, this weekend. There is the 5K <laughs> run walk to the uh, memorial, 9-11 uh, memorial on Sunday. Plus, there is a four-mile race uh, in Central Park, support the parks, or uh, uh, title uh, similar to that. 
and we are certainly evaluating or reevaluating them in light of the uh, event that, that, that took place yesterday.